Hi everyone. So welcome to Achievers Academy. So in this session, we are going to continue our TSPSC Group Four Paper Two Secretary Abilities previous year question. In the last uh, previous session, we in the previous session we have discussed the questions of para jumble, and in this session we are going to solve the reading comprehension asked in TSPSC Group Four Paper Two Secretary Abilities. So this will be conducted by me, obviously Shivangi Shivastha. So let's get started. So there are uh, altogether three RCs. So the first RC is based on the historical events. The theme is historical events. Okay. So first of all, let's see the uh, you know questions to consider. C. There are direct questions, reading comprehension also, and implied reading comprehension also. So let's check out. to consider the nationalist movement or to criticize it as a working class movement was wrong because it was a gandhi played a revolutionary role in india because he could groups with advanced ideologies ideology functioned in the air as they did not fit in with true and false true puch raha hai which one of the following is true the change that the gandhian movement brought among the indian masses was okay there are five questions So let's read the passage. It should be remembered that the national. Okay, so remember one thing: if you are stuck at any point that you are not able to understand the Hindi of that uh, Hindi or whatever uh, your language is, if you are not able to derive the meaning of that particular statement, forget it and move on. Just do not get stuck at any particular statement. it should be remembered that the nationalist movement in india like all nationalist movements it was essentially a borgeous movement it represented the natural historical stage of development okay and okay so many of the student uh, must have stuck at this point borgeo okay so no need to worry move on it was essentially a, a borgeous movement so what a movement was this so let's read it it represented the natural historical stage of development okay so we were ekdam at the historical stage of the development and to consider it or criticize it as a working class movement is wrong so we are not here to you know uh, talk about the pros or uh, cons we are not considering it or we are not criticizing it so th by this statement we can derive the meaning of this borgio movement borgio movement is simply a working class movement okay so just do not consider it th this working class or do not criticize it as so we are not here to talk about pros and cons so what are we here for gandhi so here we are talking about gandhi he represented the movement so this movement was represented by him we are emphasizing on this person here and the indian masses in relation to that movement to a supreme degree and he became the voice of indian people to the extent main contribution of gandhi to india and the indian masses has been through the powerful movement which he launched through national congress so here we uh, have emphasized on gandhi and we have uh, emphasized on national congress through nation wide action he sought to mold the millions and largely succeeded in doing so means he has um, brought all the population all the people all together and he has succeeded in doing so and changing them from a demoralized timid timid means tiny a uh, coward hopeless masses bullied bullied means uh, uh, the janta the population of india was bullied by britishers and was crushed by every dominant uh, interest and incapable of resistance so he turned these type of people into a people with self respect and self reliance resisting tyranny now they cannot tolerate tyranny tyranny means cruelty dominancy and capable of united action and sacrifice for a larger cause so here we are more um, emphasizing on gandhi and national congress gandhi made people think of political and economic issues and every village and every bazaar hummed with argument and debate on the new ideas and hopes that filled the people that was an amazing psychological change okay 
the t the points where i'm highlighting you have to also point out those new type of things because in most of the lines if here there are 10 to 12 lines written then only two lines are important so that you have to find out that was an amazing psychological change the time was ripe for it means now it's high time of course the circumstances and the world conditions work for the change but a great leader is necessary to take advantage of circumstances and conditions gandhi was that leader and he released many of the bonds that imprisoned and disabled our minds so he liberated us and none of us who experienced it can ever forget that great feeling of release and exhilaration that came over the Indian people. So what do you mean by exhilaration? That feeling of joy, happiness, elate, elation. Gandhi has played a revolutionary role in India of the greatest importance because he knew how to make the most of the objective conditions and could reach the heart of masses. While means he knew that what is the main objective. Uh, and with those objectives, he could reach the heart of the masses. Whereas, on the other hand, groups with more advanced ideology function largely in the air, means they could not land on the land, uh, land on the ground. They just functioned in the air only because they did not fit with those conditions. What, which conditions? That uh, those Gandhian, most of the objective conditions that Gandhi could fulfill, those other groups could not fit with those conditions and could therefore not evoke any substantial response from the masses. It's perfectly true that Gandhi functioning in the nationalist plane does not think in terms of conflict of classes. Ms. Gandhi, who was, uh, you know, making us aware that we have to be liberated, we have to be, you know, uh, 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 get we have to get independence and we have to fight for our rights. But he did not think in terms of conflict of classes. He tried to compose the differences like Hindu, Muslim, this type of difference. But the action he has indulged means involved and taught the people has inevitably raised mass consciousness. Inevitably means cannot be avoided. Consciousness tremendously and made social issues vital. Vital means important. Gandhi and Congress must be judged by the policies they pursue. So here we are again talking about the Gandhi and the Congress. Hmm. Gandhi and the Congress must be judged by the policies they pursue and the action they indulge in, means the, in the action they involved in. But behind this personality counts and colors those policies and activi activities. In the case of very exceptional person like Gandhi, the question of personality becomes exceptionally important in order to understand and appraise him. To us, he has represented the spirit and honor of India and earning of her sorrowing millions to be rid. Her stands for India. Innumerable burdens and an insult to him by the British government or others has been an insult to India and her people. To consider the nationalist movement or to criticize it as a working class movement was wrong because it was a... To consider the nationalist movement... Or to criticize it a working class was wrong because it was a movement represented by Gandhi because it was a historical movement. It was a voice of the Indian people. It was Borjo movement. So it has been stated in this. It should be remembered. Nationalist movement, uh, like all nationalist movement, was essentially a... Uh, Borjo movement, it represented a natural historical stage of development. To consider it or criticize it as a diff uh, yeah, working class movement is wrong. Gandhi represented that movement and the Indian masses. So, what could be the answer? Why this nationalist movement, uh, why to consider it as a nationalist movement or criticize it as a working class movement was wrong? Because it was a movement represented by Gandhi. Because it was a historical movement. No, not at all. It was a voice of the Indian people. No, it was a Borjo movement. It's uh, directly written what has been stated in the first line. But you have to imply it. And the impl imp Im uh, you know, implied answer says it's a movement represented by Gandhi. That's why it is wrong to consider it a nationalist movement. or to, It's wrong to criticize it as a working class movement. 
okay because it is a movement represented by gandhi here we are emphasizing more on gandhi that's why our answer should revolve around gandhi gandhi played a revolutionary role in india because he could lead the indian national congress he could preach morality he could reach the heart of indians he could see the conflict he could not see the conflict he was not preaching morality he yes it is true that he led the inc but he played a revolutionary role because he could reach the heart of indians group with advanced ideology function in the air as they did not fit in with different um, differences among masses no the objective conditions of the masses yes the gandhian ideology the class consciousness of the people see the answer sheet says the gandhian ideology but according to me the answer should be option number 2 groups with advanced ideology function in the air as they did not fit in with objective conditions of the masses see here in this line gandhi has played a revolutionary role in india uh, of the greatest importance because he knew how to make most of the objective condition on the other hand groups with a more advanced ideology function in air because they did not fit with those conditions what type of conditions those objective conditions that's why according to me the answer should be this uh, uh, option number 2 okay which of the following is true among the uh, uh, true it is a, an account of inc's support to the working class yes it can be the right answer the passage is critic of gandhian role no we are not talking about the critic passage hails hails means talking something positive we are not actually talking positive or negative or being neutral here we are talking on an account of an inc support so first would be the correct answer the change that the gandhian movement brought among the indian masses was physical psychological cultural technological no technological no cultural no physical it was a psychological change it was uh, written directly psychological change question number 16 to 20 read the following passage carefully and answer the questions given below before uh, question number 16 till question number 15 i have already discussed okay so here is a short rc let's see uh, this is of i think two or three paragraph and there are five questions based on it okay so first of all let's uh, have a quick overview of the questions which of the following goods are exempted from gst what makes further rationalization of gst system difficult what is the consequence of starting new gst rates from july 27th okay so whenever you see date just think you have hit a jackpot because uh seeing a number rather than uh, you know seeing uh, uh, that letters and words so it's more easy yeah seeing a number is easier than seeing a letter so wherever you'll find july 27 just look for the answer okay uh, the gst council has announced a reduction the tax rate for our goods how many goods is ask is it's this question is asking how many goods uh, have uh, been uh, deducted gst the tax rate on environmentally friendly fuel sale uh, sell vehicles has been reduced to so how much reduction okay it's a number of goods and how much reduction okay so we have to read the reading comprehension just don't go to the shortcut method first of all i'll give you you know one minute time to read the reading comprehension or you can just pause the slide and read it okay first of all you have to try it yourself then you listen to my explanation this is the proper method of solving reading comprehension in class so let's start you can pause the slide okay i'm um, uh, you have to uh, give time of 1 minute to, to the slide okay i'm proceeding further next 1 minute for the slide so you have to read the whole reading comprehension in all about 2 minutes
just have a quick overview. Okay. So this, if, if you haven't read it yet, then you can pause the slide before and then proceed to the question. But make sure you give only one minute time, okay? Now, this is the question number 16. Which of the following goods are exempted from GST? Your time starts now. 30 seconds. Next question, what makes further rationalization of GSA system difficult? If you need to, you know, go back to the reading comprehension slide, then what you can do, you can just click a screenshot or if you have a um, second phone or any other phone of your family members, then click picture of this slide or just click the screenshot, whatever suits you. You can click the picture or screenshot of this slide as well. Hmm? Now this question number 17. If you can solve this reading comprehension well in this online method in the class, then you are going to score 100% in your offline paper. Start from the, you know, moon, then you will reach the star. Start from the difficult one and then you can easily solve in the easier way. Question number 18. What is the consequence of starting new GST from 27th July? Next question, the GST uh, council has announced reduction in the tax rates for our goods. How many goods? Reduction in the tax rates for dashed number of goods. So how many goods have been in the reduction group? The tax rate on the environmentally friendly fuel cell vehicles has been reduced to how much percent? In this question, how many goods? In this, how much uh, percentage? First of all, you have to solve it yourself and then you will listen to my explanation, okay? Shall we? Let's start solving the question with me. Unwilling a mini budget. What is the meaning of the word unwilling? See, veil. Veil is something that, uh, you know, curtain type of thing to hide something. In the traditional village or in the traditional uh, culture, in our traditional culture, women are supposed to be in the veil. Yeah, so that nobody can see her. So veil is something to hide. Okay. In the bridal dress, you must have seen brides having veil on their head. So veil is that ghunghat in Hindi we call it. Okay, so means to hide. So what is the opposite of this veil? Unveil. Unveil is to display something. To display something. Got it? So unveiling a mini budget means revealing reveal to reveal something yeah revealing a mini budget of sorts in the middle of the financial year the goods and services tax council has announced a reduction in the tax rate of about 85 goods so i think we got one answer reduction of the tax rate for over 85 goods so i got the answer of 
this question the goods and services tax has a non reduction the tax for our 85 goods so for all of those students who have marked option 3 as your answer plus 1 marks to all of you correct answer is 85 goods next the applicable indirect tax rates on consumer durables such as television sets washing machine refrigerator along with a dozen other product have been slashed from 85 percent to 18 percent so reduction is of 18 percent i think we got one more answer the tax rate of environmental fuel cell vehicles has been reduced to 18 percent from 85 percent to 18 percent and the question has been asked to reduce to from ni pucha from has not been asked it has been asked to so to 18 percent correct answer is option number three to all the students who have marked answer three plus one marks to all of you next the tax rate on environmentally friendly fuel cell has been reduced from 28 percent to 12 uh, percent okay 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 i have to see something okay i think we got the wrong answer <laughs> because here the indirect tax rate on consumer durables in this line it is saying tax rate on consumer durables right and in this next line it is saying the tax rate or environmentally friendly fuel cells and the question was asked of environmentally friendly fuel cell vehicle so it is 28 percent to 12 percent guys so the correct answer here is 12 percent c if you choose wrong answer that will also be your option so you have to choose wisely so the correct answer here is option number four because 18 percent was of that consume television sets and all that thing and right? but we have been asked tax rate of fuel cell vehicle has been reduced to how much percent so the answer is 12. so i just saw how you can get trapped by the examiner and i have just shown how you can come over it okay so you have to you know uh, pick the words very wisely okay, what is the question asked okay so we have saved our one mark next and the composition says divide on c i am uh, referring something grammar rule also levi always takes on fixed preposition and you know? error can be asked on this topic from this topic this leaves just about 35 product including tobacco automobile cement in the highest tax level of gst rakhis without semi precious stones as well as sanitary napkins that attracted 12 percent have been exempted from the tax altogether so on these items no tax will be levied these are tax ex exempted uh, uh, items rakhis without semi precious stone as well as sanitary napkins i think one more question we can solve which of the following goods are exempted from gst carpet cement all rakhis with precious stone sanitary napkin and the correct answer is all rakhis with precious stone because what are the items that were exempted sanitary napkins and all rakhis without precious stone okay if there were precious stone then obviously tax will be ex uh, you know levied on them like gold or silver or diamond these are the precious stone etc etc so without them the item will be exempted from the tax so the correct answer is option number three Several other products have been placed in the lower tax lab, including those from the employment intensive sector such as carpets and handicraft. These are in the lower tax lab, but yeah, tax will be levied on them. On the services front too, there are important tweaks and clarification. Overall industry and consumer may consider these tax cuts in largely on the product and services of the mass use as a stimulus to drive consumption ahead of the festive season. 
whichever one looks at it the gst council's 28th meeting has significantly altered the course of the nearly 13 month old tax regime the actual impact of these changes on product prices and consumption demand will be visible soon but the government's confidence in such tax rate reduction gambit indicates it's now comfortable and with revenue yields from the gst okay estimates of revenue losses from these rate cuts vary widely but it's too early to worry about the impact of macro fiscal numbers if implemented well the revenue lost could be offset by higher consumption that may lead to more investment over time moreover improvements in compliance can be expected from the council's decision to further simplify paperwork for small and medium enterprises okay but these are two major concerns kya kya hai major concerns what are the major concerns first since the new rates are to kick in from to july 27th companies may not have enough time to rework pricing strategies and profiteering action means companies are not getting enough time to maximize optimize their profit second members of the council have for the first time questioned its functioning and alleged that not all the changes and rate cuts were placed on the agenda okay so uh, the members of councils have been questioned for the first time for a tricky tax that is still in work in progress distrust between the center and state would make further rationalization difficult such friction would be must be avoided in a system in which the state have so far worked in tandem with the center means center and states have to work you know uh, simultaneously in a very friendly manner but this will create a conflict between them okay what further rationalization of gst system makes difficult what makes further rationalization of gst difficult distrust between the center and state yes see uh this this line for a tricky tax that is still a work in progress distrust between center and state would make further rationalization difficult and this was the question asked rationalization difficult what made this rationalization difficult so distrust between center and state all these are very direct question what is the consequence of starting new gst rates from july 27th companies may not they have to worry about two things first companies may not have enough time to rework pricing strategies yes revenue from tax will be decreased no simplified paperwork no reduced conflict no there was conflict there was no reduction there was conflict and it's written reduced conflict no so they were they were too uh, uh, worry first since the new rates are to kick in from july 27th wherever you see the date july 27 just read that line companies may not have enough time to rework pricing strategies so the answer is option number one okay so these are the five questions question number 17 16 option number three plus one marks question number 17 option number two plus one marks 18 option number one 19 option number three 20 option number four so tell me how much you got out of five just calculate your marks okay so let's proceed to the next reading comprehension so this is our next reading comprehension comprising question number 21 to 25 in 100 years what is the change in the average temperature how did the holocene begin additional increase of temperature is due to what was the data for the research study based on the earth's temperature has increased quickly since and you have only one slide to read you can take the screenshot as well to further refer and first of all read this your time starts now one minute This is something environment based reading comprehension. You will be asked RC from all the fields, history, you know, current affairs, 
these environment based okay i hope you have read it if you haven't then you can pause the slide and uh, then continue when you have completed so your first question in 100 years what is the change in the average temperature and you have minimum 20 seconds and maximum 30 seconds to solve this question When did the Holocene begin? Additional increase of temperature is due to What was the data for the research study based on? The Earth's temperature has increased quickly since. Okay, I hope you have read it. Now I'll start reading. The world is now warmer than at almost any time since the end of the lost ice age. After the ice age, this world has been warmer. And on present trends will continue to reach a record high for the entire period since the dawn of civilization a study has found. I think we have solved one question. Uh, okay. The earth's temperature has increased quickly since. Okay. No. Additional increase of temperature is due to. Okay, so we will read it. It's warmer uh, since the end of lost ice age. The study published in the journal Science aims to give a global overview of Earth's temperature for the past 11,003 years. 11,003 years. 300 years a relatively balmy period known as Holocene that began after the last major ice age Holocene began after last major ice age ended and encompasses all of recorded uh, human civilization the data compiled by studying such things are ice fossil ocean sediments look back over a much longer era than previous research which went back uh, 1500 years Hmm. Can we solve any question? When did the Holocene begin? Before the major ice age. Before the industrial revolution. After the industrial. After the major ice age. Yes. I after ice age. Holocene. Holocene begin. Began. See. Holison that began after the, uh, I'll just uh, highlight this thing. Holison that began after the last major ice age ended. So after ice age, Holison began. Okay. Scientists say that it is further evident that modern day global warming isn't natural, but is the result of rising sea carbon dioxide, CO2 emission. 
that have rapidly grown since the industrial revolution began roughly 250 years ago scientists say that if natural factors were still governing the climate northern hemisphere would probably be destined to freeze over again in several thousand years instead scientists believe that the enormous increase in the greenhouse gases causes by industrial caused here it should be caused caused by industrialization will almost uh, certainly prevent that okay additional increase of temperature is due to obviously carbon emission co2 we have solved one more question earth's temperature has increased quickly since 1500 years ago holis in industrial revolution northern hemisphere i think it's industrial revolution but we will further read it okay sean marcot a geologist at oregon state university says global temperatures are warmer than about 75% of anything we have seen over the last 11000 or so years or so the other way to look at is that 25% of the time since the last age it's being warmer than now it's taken just 100 year for the average temperature to change by 1.3 degrees when it look 5000 years to do that before by the end of the century climate warming model predict an additional increase of 2 to 11.5 degree degrees due to large quantities of co2 in 100 years what is the change in the average temperature so it it it, it has taken just 100 year for the average temperature to change by 1.3 degree so i think you got the answer so the correct answer for this question is option number 2 uh, sorry 3 1.3 degrees when did the holocene holocene begin after the major ice age additional increase of temperature is due to co2 option number 2 what was the data for the research study based on a global overview of earth's temperature records of temperature in the northern hemisphere analysis of ice cores fossil and ocean sediments number of storms and ocean current this is uh, the inference based question this question you can solve by reading the reading and understanding the whole paragraph all the other uh, you know no i think this is also direct question what was the data for the research study let me check data for the research study their data compiled by studying such things as ice core fossil and ocean sediments okay so this was also direct question analysis of ice cores fossils and ocean sediments so no question is implied question the earth's temperature has quickly increased since the industrial revolution so we have solved five more questions you can check your marks Question number twenty one, option number three. Question number twenty two, option number four. Question number twenty three, option number two. Question number twenty four, option number three, and question number twenty five, option number three. So you can just count your marks out of five, and uh, do let us know how much you got out of. 15 we have solved 3 rcs in this session we have solved 2 rc and in the previous session i have solved 1 rc so total there are 3 rcs that we have solved so your marks will be calculated in out of 15 okay in the next session we are going to solve one more previous year paper so be with us and study hard bye bye take care and have a nice day